and I'll dab for everybody. Rise and shine, beautiful. You ready to go fishing? Yeah, I'm all right. I've been up for a while now. Yeah, I, I got my, my lunch and all that good stuff. I just left the house. I'm going to have to put gas somewhere down the street, and then I'll be there roughly about 20 minutes or so. All right, cool. All right, we'll see you then. All right, later. Okay. It's time to go fishing. Hey guys, I'd like to welcome you to our annual Port O'Connor fishing trip. This is a trip me and my buddy try to take around October of every year. You can see as we're using the buddy system, always be safe out there and those kayak guys to use that buddy system whenever you can. This trip is a little bit different. We left about 4 o'clock in the morning from San Antonio. We wanted to get an early start uh, on, our, on our fishing. This one, my buddy caught a couple of sharks. You'll see that later on in the video and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, my backwater, my uh, plug is... Plug, 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 plug. Oh my god, don't oh. Your heart, I mean, uh, I mean the water. Huh? What? Your heart, I mean, I mean the water. Yeah, uh, you're right. I'll put everything out. Okay. That's how you stand up on a Hobie. Patrick's got balance, I don't. <laughs> so, that's how to do it though. He feels comfortable. Me, I don't. I've, I'll, I fall on my butt. Hey guys, so here we were out fishing. I was throwing out this scope. Um, I know it's not much to most people. I've actually never caught anything on a goat before. I was trying uh, all different things. I was throwing spoons, top water, suspension baits, and nothing was just hitting. And then I was throwing out this scope, this, this chartreuse scope, and then this is what happened. Uh, pull me that way. Pull me that way, fish. Going to shore again. Huh? Oh, there, there goes the there goes the Mirage Drive. Ooh, nice little red. On the little rat red. On the goat. There you go, guys. See if we can do it again. So needless to say, after catching this red, I was pretty excited. We uh, went ahead and we made way to our, our final destination spot where we've caught some gaff top in the past and we enjoyed the fight. And um, this is what happened. This is the Patrick's first hookup on, on a shark in the kayak. But all you, it's got to be a good size. Shark. Shut up. Serious? Hell yeah. Want it? Yeah. You have, no, you, have, you have no idea what to do, do you? I have no idea. <laughs> This is why people, when you come fishing, you, you come with friends. They'll tell you why what to do. It's a hard tail. You tell you what to do. Patrick caught that right below him. He's still green. There it is, people. Patrick's first shark from a kayak. He dropped it right under the boat, and it hit right there. 
Um, this is why you always want to go out with the buddy system. If you need help to take off a fish, if he just needs help in whatever way, shape, or form, you can actually go out there and help him. Right here in a minute, you'll see uh, my quick detached anchor system. Me and Patrick wouldn't go fishing without it. It makes it so much easier. All you do is unhook. You can go fight your fish. You can go help your friends out. You'll see it right here coming up shortly. You need me to go over there? Help. Keep on, keep on needing it. <laughs> All right, hold on. Jaws. The jaws. All right, people. So here's a little trick, or you want to have a detachable anchor. So Patrick just got a shark, as y'all can see, and he needs help. So I was gonna go over there and help him. Just grab him by the head, right? If you want to, if you're brave enough. I would fish grip in the lip. I'm gonna have to make my way over there and help him out. So I wanna put as much gear out of the way as possible. As you can see, I'm gonna just detach. And then I can come back to that later. This is a good thing too that he's got that that way I can give him his bait. Yeah, I'm not like recording you, I'm recording me. Hey, it's a little bonnet head. So I'm how are we gonna keep this back? I don't wanna get caught on the on your the other ride in the water, Patrick? No. Which one? This one? No, the one behind you. No. Turning. I was turning. I was turning. Catch me. Catch me. Catch rock. Catch rock. Catch rock. <laughs> Alright. So here we are. That's what that's what puts these up. That's what he caught right there. Nice little shirky shirky. And as you can see, there's my thing way there over there. So I just go back right there and I'm back to where I was at. And that's little shark. I'm going to figure out a way to take him home because <laughs> I don't want my hand anywhere you, near you the can't, jaws. You can't necessarily put him on a stringer too well, so we'll figure it out. We'll come back later. So after catching that shark and being out in the water for a couple of hours, we decided to hit up this little island, take a break, stretch out. Um, back was starting to hurt. I can only sit in the kayak for so long. Uh, so you can see, we see this dip in the water, so we decided to hit this island up, eat our lunch, take a break and we're still fishing we just have the rods and the rod holders of the kayaks the next couple of cl clips is from what we caught on this island right so we're on this island you can see patrick setting up some rods and he's throwing some out i'm about to eat me my sandwich my lunch i got my rods out there after this we're probably we might head out a little bit further out and start making our way back in we're about took us about two hours to get to where we're at now but Granted, we fished along the way. If not, it would probably take us half the time. So, I'm gonna eat my sandwich. Hopefully, we catch something while we're here. And if not, we'll, we'll see. We'll see you later. Patrick's got the magic touch today. He didn't even have bait on that one. He just caught something. <laughs> Fish are just jumping in this boat. That's a good size. Whatever it is, it is good. Did it get stuck? Oh, you're gonna have to go get it. Take that off? You're gonna have to go get it. There's a drop off right there, people. And so now he has to go get it. So, as we were fishing this channel, we kept catching a lot of little fish, uh, some stingrays, a couple of hardheads. And they kept getting stuck in that little drop. You'll see uh, me push uh, Patrick out there to go get his. And then eventually, you'll see him push me off to us so I can go get my fish. Look at that, that's the, that's the rod cam view right there. That's the <laughs> Are you serious? It's stuck, it's stuck at the same spot. Yeah, there's a drop off right there and it literally, once you go off there in one spot, you, you uh, it's gonna come off in like two seconds, Patrick. I know it's not. 
Now you fat ass, man. I can't even push you. Ah! ah. There he goes. We'll get his fishies. Holy shit! <laughs> Alright, look, mine's going off now too, people. So as you can see here, I'm pretty happy to caught my fish and you'll see it. It gets stuck in the same spot, that right there, that little dip. Where you have to go out there and you have to get it. Can you even fucking push it in the water? You guys big all right guys here it is patrick's second shark of the day still fishing that little island still fishing that little embankment uh you can see this one's actually a real nice shark this is some real nice footage guys i hope you enjoy it oh no he, he running i see it it's a shark big shark oh look at that look at him go they 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 they're smacking my 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 shrimp. I think you're you're caught up in your line, Patrick. Walk over. Walk over. No, wait, 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 There it is guys, Patrick's second shark for the day. This was a real fun time we had out here in this little island. It was a nice little break. Um, we like to use our kayaks not only to fish out of, but we like to get to point A to point B and fish off a little island. You can see that's a pretty shark right there that he has. Come here, boo. It's okay, dude. It's just a little shark. Woo! Look at that. 
want that one? <laughs> I'll take him. Just what? Just what? Just what? There you go. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Shark Slayer today. That's my biggest. That's the easiest thing to do right there. Just walk back. Woohoo! You don't even bring that back. Look at that. Watch me. Wait, 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 wait. Now dab for everybody. <laughs> Alright guys, I just wanted to show you this clip. Uh, we are actually done fishing for today. But as you can see here, this is why I enjoy having a kayak over a boat. This boat is actually stuck. Uh, they saw us go through here. I guess they thought the water was deep enough. And you can see that boat is actually stuck there. The guys ended up having to get out and push that boat down. But this is why I enjoy kayak fishing so much, guys. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to tell you, um, you know, we did good. We did go rushing and head back towards the launch. Uh, Patrick caught two sharks while we're out here. But the thing we want to let y'all know is that we found something very rare out here. Um, I haven't seen one of these in, in, in years, years. Okay, you ready for this? Don't be surprised. Don't go crazy in the comments when you see it, okay? Be rich, yeah. though. But look at this. Look at this. Look at that. That's what they used to call a television. Beautiful television there. Um, these were, people would gather around these and uh, sit and I guess watch stuff. It's, it's together, as a together as a family, right? Yeah. And, and then, you know, but before tablets and cell phones and iPads and everything was invented, people used to gather around uh, the, well, the living room. Yes. The living room. And they used to sit around and they used to watch this device here. So it just comes to show you guys, you could, you could find anything out, out it, here. It's interesting, Martin, because people used to actually sit around and watch TV and actually talk about shows. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. People used to be engaged with each other. People actually just talk to each other instead of just texting each other. It's, it's, it's weird, but we just wanted to show you this rare find. Rare find, it's, it's, it's amazing what, what you find out here. Out in the middle of nowhere, middle of nowhere, find an old antique like this. It's just, it's just, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Like I said, don't go crazy in the comments now. You know, I, I know it's rare to see something like this. But, you know, I hope you all guys enjoyed the video. We're going to keep fishing, and we'll see you guys later.